Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will learn how we can generate a signed bundle for the Play Store release and how you can create the key store as well. So I'm taking an example of one of my example projects. So the first thing that we need to do is we have to create the key store. Let's create the key store first. You have to go to the main menu and from the main menu, just go to build. And here you can see generate signed bundle, click on that. So you can select whether you are creating an Android web bundle or you are creating an APK. Just click on the next. And now we have to create the key store. If you have already have the key store, you can directly go ahead and select the key store path. But if you don't have the key store and if you are creating the release bundle for the first time, then you have to create the key store first. Just click on the create new. You have to provide the key store path. To do that, just click on the file icon. Select the location where you want to store your key store. I'm going to keep it inside my this project only. So I'm just going to expand. I'll just go to the location and the studio projects and have the work manager. That's it. And I'll provide the file name, whatever the project name you have or the organization for which you are creating the key store. You can take that name. So and to her work manager just click on ok and make sure you have this jks selected that will be an extension for the key store just click on ok so we have selected the key store path the next thing you have to enter the password for the key store the key store password should be strong enough so that anyone cannot directly hack it into the key store and, and can get the details and make sure that you keep it very safe so that in future if you are updating your app on the play store you'll be needing the same key store and same password to update the app then in that case if you don't have the key store or if it has the password then it is very difficult to generate it and if you are going to create the new key store then it is like a, a different process now the next thing we have to enter the alias name so the alias should be identical which app for which app you are creating the alias and you can create multiple alias under one key store so the alias should represent your application now the next thing you have to enter the password for your alias and this password should also be very strong and by default validity years is 25 if you want to change it you can change it otherwise you can keep it as it is now the next thing is you have to provide some information to you know, creating the certificate like a first name, last name, organization you need. So just enter this information and to help. I'm just entering anything for example purpose. That's it. So now just click on OK. And make sure that you remember your password and the aliases and if you don't uh, you can just write it down in somewhere for later use just click on the next and you have to select the variant for which variant uh, you want to create the release as you know we always select the release variant just click on the release and click on create and once you click on the create it will take some time and it will notify you once the app bundle is generated if there are any errors while generating the sign bundle then it will display you in the console if you can see the fill process is completed you can check under the notification the sign bundle has been created and i can directly go ahead and, uh, and upload it into the play store so just click on the locate and under the release i have the app bundle so this is the way you can generate the release candidate for your application now the next thing is if you want to update your application so that time you have to you have to increase your app version and version code and after that you have to follow the same process the same thing menu then build generate signed apk android app bundle and you have to select the key store path then the key store password key alias and everything and so you can automate this process as well because you don't want to enter the details each and every time whenever you are generating the signed bundle so you can configure that so how we are going to configure that and meanwhile i'll just show you the key store which i have created it is over here and to have work manager.jks file now how you can do that just click on the right on the app go to the module settings open module settings 
and over here just click on the modules you are already there click on the signing configs uh, click on the plus button and just enter the new signing config that is for the release just click on ok because we always create the key store for the release candidate only we don't use it for the debug purpose now the next thing is we have to provide the store file which is our key store file path just click on the folder icon it's the same path you have to give click on the file click on ok so we have got the path now the next thing is store password key alias and key password I'm just going to enter that. Then work manager. Next thing is key password done. Click on apply and then click on OK. So once you applied these changes, there are some changes happen inside the gradle file if you came inside your gradle file which is our app level gradle file and if you came over here you can see the signing config has been created which is a create release then store file the path of your key store file then the store password key alias and key password so now we will see whether it is going to work or not and how you are going to check you can just click on the build variance which is on the left hand side and if you don't have the build variant then you can directly go to the menu then view tool windows and from there uh, you can select the build variants so i already have that and by default debug is selected i'm going to select the release just click on the release and it will take some time to make the gradle and it will see whether it is going to work or not now you can see i've changed the variant but still i see the cross mark on the app icon that means the configuration is not successful why because we have created the signing config but we have not connected it with the with our release variant so to do that scroll down and come to the build types and under the release we have to type the signing config equal to signing configs dot release which we have created over here so signing config dot create i think the function has been changed release now let's sync our project and let's see if if we get any error or not okay we we got the error with release any config with that name already exist okay we don't have to i think we have to get i guess not sure let's see get by name let's see let's try again yep that's right that's right now you can see the cross mark from the from the app icon uh, has been removed so that means the configuration is successful now what you can do is now the next time whenever you have to create a release bundle then you just have to directly go to the menu build and just select the build bundles apk just click on the build bundles and again it will take some time to build the gradle to generate the release version for you and it is successful just click on the locate by using this process the location of the release bundle has been changed from that release to build then outputs then bundle and under that we have a release folder and here you can find your release candidate that you can upload to your play store and why this approach is very much required because in this way you can directly without entering the details each and every time it is configured into your gradle file and you can directly select which variant for which variant you want to create it and this step is also benefit to you why because whenever you are creating a release if your app is working in the debug mode it will not make sure that it also work in the release candidate why because there might be some crashes that you won't get in the debug but you will get in the release so to verify that the configuration that we did for the release candidate and if you 
change the build variant from the debug to release then you can directly install the app and by installing it will install the release apk instead of the debug apk so when you have installed the release apk and you can verify it whether each and every functionality is working fine or not and if it is working fine then you can go ahead and create the release bundle and you can upload it to the play store now the next very important step for the configuration that we did is because right now the password alias and the and the location is very much straightforward obviously whenever you are going to commit your uh, code and all so it will go to the remote repository but this information are very classified information uh, you should not commit this information with your actual project so we are going to extract the information out into a properties file and we will access this properties file into our code to do that you have to create one file just go to the project tab right click over here new click on the file and just key store dot properties done now we have to store password that will be one two three four five six then key password one two three four five six key alias that will be our work manager now finally the file path so i'll just go ahead and copy this path and just the two slashes that's it so i have added all the information which is required for the key store and now we will make some changes in the gradle file to retrieve the information from the properties file so the first thing that we need to do is we'll just come over here then well key store properties file is equal to root project dot file and we have to provide the file path so this property file you have to create under your root project not under your app or any other folder and if you are creating it then you have to change your path over here now the next thing is we have to use well key store properties we are just creating an instance for the properties and we'll see do we have any import for that yeah we have the import just click on the java util import and you can see at the top the import has been added now the next thing is you have to get the properties from the keystore.properties and code it into the properties instance that we have created so dot load then file properties dot load then file input stream and this file paste it over here and we have to import this file input stream also just import the class and at the top import has been added now the next thing we have to make changes over here so we'll do changes one by one the first thing is store file then key store properties then we have to get the values from there that is a store file then we have to mention the type in which type we are going to get it string done now i'll just copy this and i'll paste it for the other
things done and I'll just rename the store password key alias and key password that's it now let's sync our call and let's see if there are any errors in building the grader so meanwhile by using this we have segregated our key store information into the key store dot properties and whenever you are committing the code you don't have to commit key store dot properties with the actual code in this way your key store information won't go to the remote and it will be always with you and you have to share this information only with the people who are responsible to create the releases and to ignore this file with the git then you just have to go to the git ignore and you have to add this file keystore.properties properties that's it so in this way this file will be ignored for the so whenever you are committing the changes it won't be included into your commit now i think the build is successful that's great so that means the configuration is completed and without any errors now we will just try to create another release and if you can see the build variant we have selected is release that's fine just go to the menu then build build apk or bundles just click on the build bundles and it's done go to the locate just build outputs bundle release okay i think it is not generating the new one so to do that we just have to delete this one and if you are going to delete it then it will generate the new one because whenever you are creating the new release then you have to clean and rebuild the project and then you have to generate it but build bundles it's generated successfully just click on the locate build and outputs bundle release and you have your new app bundle for the release you can still go with that previous approach where you are clicking on generate sign bundle or apk and you can directly go ahead and create the release and you can just change your release to the debug at any point of time and you can configure or test the application in the debug mode and in the release mode and whenever you see any cross icon at the top of this app configuration so that means there is some error with the gradle file or with the configuration whenever you are going to the release build variant or the debug variant so mostly you will face issue whenever you are going to the release variant because there is no key store configured yeah so that's it so i hope this will be very helpful for you in understanding the key store and how you can generate the release bundle or apk for your play store thank you for watching this video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video thank you